There's an amazing thing going on all over the world right now. Yes, the coronavirus is rapid. However, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people that are showing amazing courage and strength in spite of great odds. Today, we're going to talk about courage. Stick around. Hey, it's Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. I'm sharing from my 25 years of experience as a leader, as a keynote speaker, and as someone that has amazing faith and hope in our world. I'm here to help you to defy the odds in life, leadership, and public speaking. And today, we're going to take this one head on because we are seeing amazing acts of courage right now in spite of amazing odds on a global pandemic. So I want to hear from you. I want to make this really short, really simple today. I want you to answer this question. Post it in your own video. Post it in your own word. But let me hear from you today. What is courage to you? The definition of courage is the ability to do that thing when you are frightened. Strength in the face of pain, grief, or fear. That's courage. We are seeing a lot of courage right now in our world, aren't we? We are seeing men and women step up in ways that we never thought or imagined. Now, when I think of courage, I always think about the Wizard of Oz, the Cowardly Lion. Most of us can relate to the Cowardly Lion because he wants to be something. He wants to be the king of the forest. He wants to be the hero. (laughs) But he cowers from his own shadow. And as the events of the story of Oz go on, he is so afraid. Let's be honest. There's a lot of fear out there in our world. We've been reading it. We've been seeing it. There's a lot of people talking about it. I've talked about it. But now we're seeing, in, in spite of the fear, people are rising and going above and beyond fear, and they're facing it with courage. I just saw a video this morning. Overseas, Doctors and nurses and technicians got a standing ovation from patients waiting in the hospital because they are working long, tiring hours. They are gowned up, masked up, gloved up, and they are the heroes right now. They are posting on social media signs of saying, we're doing this for you, so you do your part and stay home. What amazing courage. My own daughter right now is serving as a med tech in a pharmacy. She is there filling prescriptions and helping people out who desperately need their medication. And those people coming in are often at high risk, including myself. With my own liver transplant, I can no longer really go out. I have other people shopping for me and helping out. So courage is such an amazing thing right now. It takes a lot of courage to stand up to the microphone as leaders right now and admit we don't have the answers. But we do have preventative measures. We're going to ask you to all bite the bullet together and we're all going to work together. Yeah, it's hard stuff right now as leaders. No one was equipped or trained or ever thought of how to do all that. The Cowardly Lion wanted courage really badly and didn't think he had it. But when he met the wizard, the wizard said some amazing things to him. I just want to read one little quote because I think this is all you and me. I think this is where the rubber meets the road in this conversation about courage. Here's exactly the quote from the movie. You have plenty of courage, I'm sure. That's pretty confident. That's great stuff. He goes on to say, all you need is confidence in yourself. There is no living thing that is not afraid of danger. Yeah, you're right. He goes on to say, true courage is facing danger when you are afraid, and that kind of courage you have plenty of. Think about that. We're afraid. We're tweeting, we're blogging, we're putting things out there, we're talking to family and friends, and we are afraid. Let's admit that we're afraid. But there's more courage inside each one of us than we are willing to admit, I think. We have plenty of courage. We have the willingness to go do it. It's going to take an act. It's going to take a step. It's going to take a move forward. And that's where I think courage really steps in. We want to be the hero. But it's the step forward where courage 
takes place. So, really short and simple today. Let me hear from you. I I really want to hear from you. What is courage? That's the word of the day. Courage. Until next time, I'm The Trigger. God bless. Have a great week. And of course, stay safe.